gate is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signals all digital systems can be constructed by only three basic logic gates not gate is also called as inverter we have some rules for binary addition so 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 so in and gate we have two or more input signals but have only one output signal everyone welcome to my new session i am shweta with yashram pu college temple of excellence mysore in today's session i am going to discuss about logic gates the weightage of this chapter is 4 mark 1 mark 1 question and 3 mark 1 question so total 4 mark will come for your exam very important concept and easiest chapter in your syllabus in this chapter, we have a brief introduction to logic gates. Boolean functions may be practically implemented by using electronic gates. Already I have explained Boolean algebra. So, Boolean functions may be practically implemented by electronic gates. Logic gates are the heart of digital electronics. A gate is an electronic device which is used to compute a function on a two valued signals. Two valued signal means it can be input signal or output signal. A logic gate is a basic building block of a digital circuits. Let us understand what are gates. Gate is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signals and always produces an output signals. A gate is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signals and always produces an output signals. It contains one or more input signals and always produces an output signal. And gates are digital circuits because the input and output signals are either low voltage or high voltage. Low voltage means we can represent it, it is 0 and high voltage means we can represent it as 1. Low voltage is called as condition is 0, high voltage means we can represent it as 1. I will give one example, this is one circuit board. If your circuit board voltage is high, we can represent it as 1, that is in on condition. If your circuit board voltage is low, we can represent it as 0 called condition is low. So, gate is an electronic circuit which operates on one or more input signals and always produces an output signals. So, this is called logic gates. Logic gate circuits are designed to input and output only two types of signals that is high condition and low condition. High condition means we can represent it, it is 1. Low condition means we can represent it by a variable 0. So, we can call full power supply voltage for high state, full power supply voltage for high state and zero voltage for a low state. So, logic gate execute basic logical functions. Most logic gates accept input of two binary values and provide an output of a single binary value. Logic gates can be classified as basic gates and derived gates. There are two types of logic gates that is basic gates and derived gates. So, what do you mean by basic gates? All digital systems can be constructed by only three basic logic gates. So, all digital systems can be constructed by only three basic logic gates called as basic gates. And derived gates are those made up of simple combinations of the basic gates. There are three basic gates that is NOT gate, AND gate and OR gate. Three basic gates called NOT gate, AND gate, OR gates. And we have four derived gates that is NOR gate, NAND gate, XOR gate and XNOR gate. Let us understand about basic gates. 
there are three basic gates called NOT gate, OR gate and gate. So first one is NOT gate. So what is NOT gate? NOT gate has only one input and one output. NOT gate is also called as inverter. NOT gate is also called as inverter. The output state is always the opposite of input state. In NOT gate, the output state is always the opposite of input state. I will explain. If your input is 0, the output is opposite means 1. If your input is 1, the output is 0. So, this is a true table for NOT gate. So, NOT gate has only one input and one output. If your input is 0, the output will be 1. And NOT gate is also called as inverter. The logic symbol of NOT gate is triangle with bubble on its end. If your input is x, the output will be x bar. If your input is y, the output will be y bar. This is called NOT gate. NOT gate is also known as inverter. It is having only one input and one output. I will show with an example. If your input is 0, the output is 1. If your input is 1, the output is 0. You can see the logic diagram. This is input and this is output. If your input is 0, the output will be 1. So, this is called as NOT gate. So, next gate is OR gate. What is OR gate? Here, OR gate has two or more input signal but only one output signal. In NOT gate, we have only one input and one output. But in OR gate, we have two or more input signals but only one output signals. And if any of the input signal is high, that means 1, the output is also 1. If any of the input is high, the output is 1, otherwise 0. Example, if your input is x and y, you have two variables called x and y. These are the truth values 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. In OR gate, we have to use logical addition. We have to use logical addition. That means f is equal to x plus y. The results will be f is equal to x plus y. We have truth values of x and y variable. How to find the output of OR gate? 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 and 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and 1 plus 0 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 already you have studied in first PUC that is binary addition. We have some rules for binary addition. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, this is called the truth table of OR gate. So, OR gate has one or more input and produce only one output. So, in OR gate, we have to use logical addition. I will show with an example. If your input is 0 plus 0, the output is 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. This is your truth table of OR gate. And if your input is 0 and 0, output is also 0. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1. This is your logic diagram, circuit diagram for OR gate. So, OR gate has two or more input but has only one output signal. This is called OR gate. So, next gate is AND gate. AND gate has two or more input signal but has only one output signal. Here, when all the input signals are high, the output is high. Otherwise, the output is zero. Example, if all the input signals are high, the output is high. High means 1. Otherwise, output is 0. This is a true table of AND gate. If all the input signals are high, the output is also high. Otherwise, 0. How to write the logic symbol of AND gate? We have two or more input signals, but only one output signal that is f is equal to 
x dot y. Here we have to use logical multiplication. In OR gate we have to use logical addition but in AND gate we have to use logical multiplication that is dot symbol that is x dot y. So, here the truth table of AND gate that is 0 into 0, 0 into means that is dot operator we are using 0 into 0 that is 0, 0 into 1 0, 1 into 0 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1. This is called AND gate. So, in AND gate we have two or more input signals but have only one output signal. When all the input signals are high, the output is also high, otherwise output is 0. In AND gate we have to use logical multiplication. Example truth table 0 dot 0 0, 0 into 1 0, 1 into 0 0, 1 into 1 is 1. This is the truth table of AND gate, logical multiplication. So, logical diagram of AND gate, this is input and this is output value. If x is 0, y is 0, output is 0, 0 into 1 0, 1 into 0 0, 1 into 1 is 1. This is your logic diagram of AND gate. We have two or more input signal but only one output signal. This is called AND gate. So, we have studied all the basic gates AND gate, NOT gate, OR gate. So, next is derived gates. So, derived gates are those made up of simple combinations of the basic gates. So, first derived gate is NOR gate. So, NOR gate has two or more input signal but has only one output signal and NOR gate is a complemented of OR gate. OR gate means logical addition. So, NOR gate is a complemented of OR gate. Already we have studied OR gate. So, OR gate complementation is NOR gate. The output of NOR gate will be 1 only when all the inputs are 0. This is the opposite of OR gate. Opposite of OR gate means it is a complemented of OR gate. And NOR is short form of NOT OR. Already we have studied NOT gate and OR gate. So, this is a complemented version of OR gate. NOR is short form of NOT OR. The symbol used to represent NOR operation is X plus Y whole bar can be written as x nor y. Already we have studied OR gate that is output is x plus y. So, in OR gate output will be x plus y whole bar. So, this is OR gate symbol and this is nor. Nor is a complemented of OR gate. So, x plus y means complemented of x plus y is x plus y whole bar. This is nor gate. How to write the logic diagram for NOR gate? Two or more inputs. This is the logic symbol of OR gate. So, NOR is short form of NOT and OR. NOT means we can use the inverter symbol. So, F is equal to X plus Y whole bar. This is the logic diagram of NOR gate. In OR gate, in truth table 0 plus 0 we will write just 0, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 1 is 1. This is for OR gate. This is the truth table of OR gate. NOR is a complemented of OR. So, 0 plus 0 means 0 changes to 1. NOR is a complemented of OR gate. 0 plus 1 is 1. Complement means 0. 1 plus 0 is 1, complement is 0. 1 plus 1 is 1, complement is 0. You can see here 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, NOR is a complemented of OR gate. This is called the logic diagram of NOR gate. So, NOR has two or more input signal and only one output signal. NOR is a complemented of OR gate. So, this is the true table of NOR gate. Here we have to use X plus Y whole bar. In OR we are using X plus Y. In NOR we have to use X plus Y whole bar. This is the complement of OR gate. How to write 
the true table for three variables. So first you have to write all the truth values. So possible combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1. Here 0 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 in OR gate. But in NOR gate it is a complemented of OR gate so it is 1. And this is the true table for 3 variables. This is the true table for 2 variables. So this is called NOR gate. And next gate is NAND gate. The NAND gate is complemented of AND gate. Already we have studied AND gate. NAND gate is a complemented of AND gate. In AND gate we have to use logical multiplication. So NAND is short form of NOT AND. It is a complemented of AND gate. The symbol is used to represent it in the operation is x dot y whole bar. In AND gate we are using x dot y. This is AND gate symbol but in NAND gate we have to use x dot y whole bar. This is NAND gate. So NAND is a short form of NOT AND. How to write the logic symbol for NAND gate? Two or more input signal and this is the logic symbol of AND gate. So here I will use inverter. Why? Because this is short form of NOT AND AND. NOT AND. So output will be X dot Y whole bar. This is the logic diagram of NAND gate. First I will write the truth table for NAND AND gate. 0 dot 0, 0. 0 dot 1, 0. 1 dot 0, 0. 1 dot 1 is 1. This is the truth table of AND gate. Then how to write for NAND gate? This is the complemented of AND gate. So 0 dot 0 is complemented means 0 changes to 1 and 0 dot 1 complemented is 1. 1 dot 0 complemented is 1 and 1 dot 1 complemented is 1. This is the truth table for NAND gate. This is the logic diagram of NAND gate. If 0 0 means it is 1, condition is 1. 0 1 means condition is 1. 1 0 means condition is 1. 1 1 means condition is low that is 0. This is called NAND gate. So we have studied three basic gates and or NOT gate and two derived gates that is NAND gate and NOR gate. The true table for two variables that is x dot y whole bar. 0 dot 0 is 1 in NAND gate, 0 dot 1 is 1, 1 dot 0 is 1, 1 dot 1 is 0 in NAND gate. True table for three variables that is x dot y dot z whole bar. This is called as NAND gate. So today we have studied three basic gates and or NOT gate and two derived gates that is NAND gate and NOR gate. In my next session, I will discuss about XOR gate and XNOR gate and universal gate. Thank you.